Are you allowed to take down notes that aren't brought up on the note guide? Yes. 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 Please do. Um, while we're reading through this, you will likely... I, I saw a couple words that I had to look up. Okay? So if you see a word that you don't know, and then after reading through it, or maybe I explain what it is, you know it, put it down in your notes. Okay? We're going to run across, this word isn't even in there, but I, first period, I mentioned it. So it's not even in the resource. Am I a resource? Yes. 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 So if I say something and it's a new word for you, nobody in the class knew what malleable meant. A couple people raised their hand and said they knew, but I said, well, what is it? Nothing. Right? So when I explain things, if it's new to you, and if it's either interesting or noteworthy, where should it go? In the notes. In your notes. Now, let me give you a little hint. Those of you that figure out how to take good notes, guess where the most important part of note taking takes place? Where? Where? At home. On top of my room. At home. I was going to say Starbucks. Okay. It's not in the classroom. Unless it's like during fifth period or something. You've got to like. Point is, you're going to. You're taking down notes and you don't necessarily know how they fit together. I might give you a word you didn't know before and you throw it down because you're, you're trying to keep up, right? You're not going to flip to a special page for new vocabulary. You might, you might, but if there's stuff that you're taking down, it doesn't quite fit. What do you have to do to the notes, the wild, crazy notes you take in class? You have to break it down and organize them. You have to break it down. You got to look back through it and put them in some sort of an order or format that makes sense to who? To me? No, to you. You. Yeah. Effective notes means something different for you than it means for me, right? Okay. So, let's go through this. If something is on your guided note sheet, absolutely put it on there. Okay. If there's still something noteworthy or interesting not on the note sheet, put it in your paper notes. And then later, later, you might combine the things that you wrote in your paper notes and maybe a few things from the note guide into an outlined in some sort of sequence, maybe it's chronological, maybe it's by some other theme, you will organize that into your notes. Not my notes, not the guided notes, they'll be your notes. And if you do that, you've been exposed to the material once by reading or hearing, right? You've been exposed to it again when you read it think about it, organize it, right? And then you might look through them again week prior to like a final exam or a PFA assessment, yes? If you do all those things, you're going to be really well off.